Well, we're out here in the Gulf off of Cedar Key, and we're fishing for sea bass, and we're catching some uh, grunts, big grunts. They sometimes call them Cedar Key snapper, and we're using, I can show you what we're using. We're using circle hooks. That's the rule out here on a dropper loop, and uh, two, uh, two hooks, that's it, and a sinker. What's that one? It's only a five-ounce sinker, and we're in about 28 feet of water. But they're biting pretty good. What have we got down there? Nice. Uh, sea bass. He might be a keeper, but he's got that big grunt. Oh, yeah, that's a keeper sea bass. And you got a keeper sea bass. Oh, you got maybe two keeper sea bass. Ah, oh, that's nice. They both. Ah, uh, that. One's a keeper in the back, yeah, that was a nice double header. Mm -hmm. but we had one the other hand back there, that's a keeper. This one. We'll, me we'll measure, measure them up. All right, so we're both keepers, measure them both. Yep. That's good. All right, go down and catch some more. Two big grunts again. Where's the two big sea bass? <laughs> both of us got grunts. They're keeping the sea bass away. What's his eel doing? He's just all wrapped up in the line. Got a circle hook in his mouth. It's a snake. Yeah. He's still eating, it looks like. Hmm? Looks like he's still eating. I don't know. I'll get this little sea bass off and I'll take care of him. Well, now look at this. Well, we got a grunt and a sea bass. The nexus. Oh, nice grunt. Grunts are good. Grouper's not in season, so we can. Oh, that's a nice grunt. Look at that guy. Two circle hooks. He's really hungry. Double header grunt. You gotta get on the back on the sea bass. These are nice grunts, they're good eating too. That's a nice one there. What do they call them? Cedar Key Snapper. We'll let this one go. We'll just keep the big ones. Fish, yeah. Look at them. You can see them. They're right there. Oh, yeah. Look at them. No. You, you got them both. They're both your fish. <laughs> That's a nice one on top, though. Oh, see, he got off. Yeah, maybe he did fall. He was just hanging on that long bait you got on there. I yeah. can see them down there. You can see the bottom. Well, make sure you don't lose that one. <laughs> Well, we had a nice day out here today. You can see how calm the seas are. And we caught quite a few sea bass, but we couldn't get down through the grunts. We were catching double-header grunts all the time. Some were good size, and the grunts are good eating. There's nothing wrong with that. We were just out trying to catch sea bass. So we're going to head in now, and uh, we're going to cook them up, and we're going to make uh, put this on the video. Uh, we, don't, we didn't decide how we're going to cook the sea bass yet, but we'll put that on the end of the video. This is. Well, this is what we ended up with for today. We got quite a few sea bass, and we got some nice ones there. And these sea bass on the Gulf side aren't quite as big as the ones you catch on the Atlantic side or you do up north. 
And we also caught a bunch of grunts. We hardly get down to the sea bass because of the grunts. We're about halfway down, the grunts would eat us up. But we're going to take them inside and cook them, and we'll uh, see you inside. Well, there are some of the grunts we caught. And it's a good place to take kids out there off of uh, Cedar Key there. There's quite a few places where you can catch these. All the kids they have to do is drop their line to the bottom and wind it up. As long as you got a circle hook on, they'll just hook them so. Well, these small sea bass we catch in the Gulf are a lot easier to clean than the larger ones you catch up north or over in the, the Atlantic side in Florida. But uh, those ones you want to sort of clean like a grouper, go down the uh, spine to the backbone, just flay inside to them. But these ones, you can just grab a hold of them and do the same thing, go along the spine. And you skin them. You can also scale them and cook them whole. Some people say it tastes better that way. And cut the rib cage out. Just go in and turn the knife back, and you feel there's no bones there. Same there. Now we get to cooking them. Well, I got the sea bass all cleaned up. And Joyce, she's going to show you how we're going to fix them tonight. Well, we're going to have coconut sea bass tonight. How I do that, I put uh, one, one pack of Ritz crackers in the chopper and we grind them up. <laughs> You want to grind them up fairly fine, then you add your uh, two teaspoons of garlic powder and one teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of Old Bay, and a tablespoon of parsley, and a little bit of pepper. And about a little less than a quarter teaspoon of salt in there. Add two third cups of coconut, and then you. That's mixed up about enough. You don't want to chop up the coconut too much. Fish, I don't use an egg wash. I use uh, two tablespoons of mayonnaise, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of Old Bay, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a tablespoon of uh, parsley. And what you do is you want to just pat the fish in the crumb mixture. Check your oil. What's that supposed to be? How uh, it's around 3, 320, 325. You don't want to get it too hot. But, uh, the coconut burns if you get it wet with the grease too hot. Coconut sea bass. That's going to be good. And you want it to peak 
at it to see how brown it's getting. I'll go for a, a little bit longer. They don't take very long to cook. Yeah, the worst thing is it was overcooked fish, right? Yeah, it takes maybe a minute to a minute and a half on one side and you flip it over. Starting to smell good. Too bad you can't put smell on the video. The smaller one, that one's done. You just put them on your paper towels and drain the grease. One thing about sea bass, it's the kind of fish everybody likes, the white fish. A lot of people don't like the mackerel and the stronger fish, but everybody likes sea bass. Okay, they are done. Look good, smell good. Yeah, ready to eat. Well, tonight's dinner is coconut sea bass. Baked potato, Brussels sprouts with shaved carrots. And Joyce makes this special tartar sauce just for me with her homemade pickles. And it's really good. You know, it goes great with these sea bass. So if you enjoy our video, we'd appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.